Hello, hello friends, it's Grace here. I am so excited about today's project. Welcome to the Essential Stencil page. I am a brand ambassador from the Comfy Nest with Grace. I'm thrilled to be with you today. Good morning, good morning, or good afternoon on the East Coast, welcome. Sorry I'm a minute late. I, um, I don't usually do big projects and my little craft desk is a little challenged by this. My little craft desk, does anybody have a little craft area? Do you have just a little one? Because when you try to do the big projects, you almost need to move somewhere new. At least I do. Hi, Miss Elisa. Thank you for saying hello. Good morning. Good afternoon to all you lovely people. Listen, if you're here, make sure that you say hello. Because, first of all, I want to hear from you. would love to say hello. would love to get to know you. Say hello to the loyal, regular fans and the new. Hold on. We're going to turn on another light. See if we can get some more light on the situation. There we go. And if you're catching the replay, make sure you say hello because Essential Stencil is super generous, uber awesome. They're going to give away three sets of stencils today at the end of the live broadcast. So even if you're late, say hello because they randomly choose winners from the comments. Same thing for replay watchers. There will be another winner from the replay watchers. So hello, whimsically nodded. Hello, Anna, North Carolina. So make sure that you say hello. Whether you're here live, you see that little red button up top that says live, or if you're here for the replay, we, we are just honored to have your company. So thank you, thank you for being here. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I'm using. However, I'm gonna have to back you up because you are not gonna be able to see this project if I don't back this camera up a little bit. So I'm gonna go around my desk here and just uh -uh, scooch you back a little bit. While I'm doing that, make sure everybody says hello. There's Jenna. You guys can welcome new folks. If you're new, say that you're new because we have pretty awesome people over here at Essential Stencil. The staff are here. Um, they'll be here in the comments answering questions if anybody has them, and if I, especially because I might not see them. So they'll be here to answer any questions. And um, all of our loyal followers, Stencil of the Month Club members, um, regular fans of Essential Stencil, super awesome ladies and gentlemen who uh, I know, I know would be so willing and ready to welcome all the new folks. Hey, Susan, we hope you're doing well too. Here's some hearts for you. Hey, Karen, hello, hello. I see comments now. Okay, I'm gonna keep my iPad close so I can read the comments, but I gotta go around on my desk and back you up a little bit because I don't want you to miss a thing and um, this project is gonna be pretty fantastic. So you're gonna see scooting back, scoot, boot scooting, <laughs> what was that song? Boot scootin' boogie? I'm boot scootin' you back. There we go, because you're going to want to see this. You are going to want to see what we got going on today. There we go. There's, now we're getting at it. Hello, I'm over here still. I'm just backing you up. The other thing I think I'm going to do, folks, is grab my, um, I better grab my beautiful little apron, because... We are going to be using a lot of paint today. Now you cannot see my head, but <laughs> you can see the project, but you can't see my head. I better fix that too, right? Or do you guys mind if, like, the headless horseman here? Um, we're getting close to October and winter. I am going to pick you up just a tish, folks, because it's important that you see everything. They are maybe, maybe that will be better. <laughs> Hey, Brendan, Michigan, Northwest Minnesota, Maria, I'm your neighbor in North Dakota. Hello, hello, folks of the Midwest, folks on the East and West Coasts. Hello to everybody. There we go. Now I cannot reach the camera. It's like way over there. I'm way over here, but I have my iPad that will tell me who's here. This is a big project, you guys. This board is big and beautiful, and I'm really excited to bring this project to you because it's very different. Um, I brought in some heavy hitters. We need some bink brushes because we got a big project, and this project is gonna use a lot of paint. So we're gonna paint the board first. I'll tell you about the board. And then, so we're gonna paint with the big paint brushes, and then I've got my bigger stencil brushes um, to do the stenciling part. So that's what we're doing today. I'm excited, I hope you're excited. I better, um, I just better move my little fan because again, I don't have a ton of room here on my, on my little table. There we go. And one more adjustment, you guys. Thank you for being so patient. I think I better just do that so you can see the whole board. Look at this board, you guys. Look at this. It's huge. It's an 18 by 24 inch board. And 
check this out. Hold on, I'm coming over. Listen, I really, I almost need a camera crew for this. I just noticed you guys are backwards. So let's flippy doodle you. And then look at this. It's got these cool gunmetal um, grommets on it. And it's burlap, so it has a ton of texture. You can see the texture. Can you hear that? I'm all about like the senses. You can hear it, you can see it, you can't feel it. I can feel it. It's a fabric burlap cover on a board and it's huge and it's got these grommets and it's gonna be fabulous for what I wanna do with it. So we are gonna prep the board, which is very big, and then I'm gonna use these stencils. So I pulled out a couple of different, we're talking winter. Listen, it is um, raining, raining, raining here today in North Dakota and 66 for a high so it's cooling down which is always welcome in my book like i love the seasons i don't love the bitter bitter winters of north dakota i have to admit i grew up in massachusetts where it's much more mild i prefer that milder <laughs> winter temperatures however where it's september like you have got to have the holidays on your mind right can you give me some hearts if the holidays are on your mind they are on my mind come september i'm like okay Gosh, Halloween's next month, and then comes Thanksgiving, and then comes Christmas. With some other fun stuff in between, of course. But Christmas, like, I like, I, I always say every year, I would like to get some Christmas stuff done early. I never do. Like, I just never do. But I think this would make a fabulous Christmas gift for somebody, or even for yourself. Um, I have one of these boards over one of the fireplaces in my home, and I love it. And I'm going to use the same technique that I used the, on the one in my home. Look at all those hearts. See, you guys are thinking. You're thinking ahead, aren't you? Love this stencil, Karen says. I love this stencil, too. It's one of my favorite winter ones. It is on the website. It's called Christmas Sign Stencils. You get three. They are 12 by 16, and you get three different cool winter sentiments. Oh, cool, no pun intended. You get Let It Snow. Let's see, I'm gonna show you all three. You get Merry and Bright, and I love the fonts on these, and you get Baby It's Cold Outside. Okay, so part of the reason these are awesome, too, is because they're really big, chunky letters. So on a big board, you want big, chunky letters because it's gonna be big, um, presumably in a bigger space and you want the words to be really bold and easy to see so this is what we're gonna use and I wonder I'm debating between let it snow on this board or baby it's cold outside you tell me in the comments if you don't mind kind of vote by telling me in the comments which one do you think I should use baby it's cold outside or let it snow Okay, I'm gonna use one of those two. I also pulled out those two stencils. They have some snowflakes around them and I'm gonna use the snowflakes. However, it's a big board, so I want big snowflakes. So I pulled out this Let It Snow porch leaner because this porch leaner has dun, 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 big snowflakes big beautiful snowflakes so I'm gonna use just this one sheet from the porch leaner let it snow and then I'm gonna use the other set one of those phrases you can help me vote listen I'm drinking too much coffee I know it I know it but I'm still gonna go with it look at this cute mug that Miss Jeannie Clifton got me hold on I gotta get these stencils to stay put look at how cute it's my first way done mug you guys you know my business is called the comfy nest with grace and I call all the folks that hang out over there with me I'll basically ladies, other than my family members. Um, I call them the crafty chicks. So look at this mug she got me, I love it. It's pink inside, anyway. A mm -mm. little bit of coffee. We gotta get going with the painting on this stinker. Oh, Wayne and um, Wayne says, baby, it's cold outside. Jenna says, let it snow. I love the lettering on these too. I really do, Jenna. Tracy, hey dear. Hello, Miss Tracy Sipling. She says, let it snow. Baby, it's cold outside, Debbie says. Donna loves both. Donna, I'm struggling too to figure it out. I don't know which one. Terry says, let it snow. Susan says, baby, it's cold outside. Andrea says, let it snow. Ah, you guys are making it hard to choose. Keep voting, keep voting. We'll see. All right, so what I'm going to do is, oh, I got something on there. It's okay, because we're going to paint over it. It's a burlap board. I'm still gonna paint over it, but I needed to pull out the heavy hitters. I don't know, I've never used either one of these brushes. They are actually sample brushes that were sent to me to test 
I don't know where you could get them. So they're not available. Please don't ask me. I have no idea. They're just big, big brushes. Okay. And I pulled out some heavy, like heavy hitter, big cans of paint. So I've got some paints here, but the base color that I want to do is white. So I'm going to use Rust-Oleum Chalked. Um, it's just a big can of paint. That's why I picked it. Um, it, it on this project, you're going to use a little, a lot of paint. So your little bottles of craft paint, that's not for this project because you probably would go through one of these bottles on this project. And that's fine if that's your preference, but I went with the big, big can because I have it and it's going to be easier for me um, to just use this big can. Looks like I need to stir it. It looks like I need to stir. So I'm going to grab for myself a little tool to do the stirry stir. It's not my, it's, it's in good shape, but it needs to be stirred. Winnie loves them all. First time here from Tennessee. Well, hello, Miss Anna. Welcome to the Essential Stencil Facebook page. Make sure you get on the email list. Every My favorite thing about the email list, of course, you get all the notices of pre-orders for stencils and discounts and all that jazz. But my favorite part of being on the email, every Sunday night, I look for and look forward to getting my email that gives me the schedule for the brand ambassadors for the upcoming week. I love it because it tells me exactly when I can catch Monday through Friday live demos from all the fabulous brand ambassadors like myself. So I love getting on the email. So Anna, I suggest that you do that. Let it snow, Ron and Becky say. Aw, Mary, you're so sweet to welcome Miss Anna. Oh, Lolly says, let it snow. She's watching from Georgia. Okay, I don't know what is gonna be the best brush. I don't know. I don't know. Do you have either of these brushes? Here, here's what I will say right away. This is not going to fit in my can, but this one will. So I'm going to go with this one. And I love the way this one holds. I don't know where it came from, to be honest with you. I mean, it was sent to me to use as a sample. Okay, when we stencil, we don't want a lot of paint. But on this, we want a lot of paint. We're going to go through a lot of paint. The middle is going to get the most coverage. And then I'm going to do kind of like a... Um, I want it to look like a like a paint splashed coverage here. So I'm gonna cover the middle of this with paint. And it needs to be big enough for whatever my phrase is. And then we're gonna let the sides of it. Stop calling me. My, my husband just tried to call me, my poor husband. We have a landscaping and erosion control business and he, um, he got rained out today. He was hoping to get some stuff done and it looks like he was rained out. So poor hubby. I mean, poor everybody who relies on the weather and the weather doesn't cooperate. The weather has been really, talk about not cooperating, blessings to all those in the storms and in the fires. And there's just, it's been a wacky, wacky time, isn't it? Okay, so see what I'm doing? It's just gonna be really abstract. Like we're not worried too much about the form of this coverage. We just wanna create a really pretty base for for our stencil and it's it's burlap and so it has lines like corduroy going going this way so if I go this way I'm gonna get really deep coverage because it's gonna go seep right into that burlap if I go this way I'm gonna get more of a dry brushing and I like the effect of both I want it to be a little bit of both and I'm focusing on the middle and then I'm gonna come around and add a little more to the edges but the middle is what I really want to do here let's check these comments Jenna says, it's been a storming a lot this summer. I'm over it already. And Jenna, you are you are south, right? You moved down south. Are you in one of the Carolinas or somewhere down there? If I remember right. So see what I'm doing? That little mark just got covered up, whatever it was. I think I bumped the board and gave it a little mark. See what I'm doing? You guys, this is like hugely satisfying too. I don't know. I usually work on really little projects, so. It's kind of fun to work on a big one. So see how if I go up and down, how that paint, it really gets inside the grooves and then we're gonna get a really true opaque white covering. If I want it to be more light, which I do around the edges, I wanna have a light white coating around the edge, I'm gonna go left and right. So when I look at the board, because it's like a very fine corduroy, it's, a bur it's called a burlap board, but because it's a very fine corduroy, when I look at the corduroy runs this way, the way that you run your brush is gonna affect the way that the paint, oh, paint boogers, the way that the paint 
gets absorbed into the board. This way you're gonna get more coverage, this way you're gonna get less, and it depends on your brush, it depends on how much paint you have on your brush, all the things. So, super fun, super different. I want it to be really abstract looking. Melissa's watching from North Carolina. Hello, hello, I'm happy you caught me too. Hello in California, Miss Mary says she's in Bakersfield, California. You know what's super fun too, I always see, even when I'm watching other lives too, I kind of watch for um, where people are from because I'm like, oh, are there any other fellow North Dakotans online? Because I love to give a shout out or a little heart to them. Just, it feels like community. It feels like, oh, there's my neighbor kind of thing. All right, so see, I want to basically have this square in the middle for the trance or the, um, the stencil design. And then on the outsides where I'm going to put the snowflakes, I want some white, but I don't want it to be as much coverage. So I have to decide. See, baby, it's cold outside is going to fill that whole spot if I go with that. I really like baby. It's, I like them both, you guys. I can't really decide. And then the other one is let it snow. I think I'm going to go with baby. It's cold outside. Let's just, I know, it seemed like you guys were voting and it was like half and half. Hi, Rosemary. Hello, hello, friend. Vicki says, I love my North Dakota. Woo, woo, North Dakota shout out. Lynn is in upstate New York. First time watching you. Hello, hello, Miss Lynn. And Linda's here from Michigan. I'm glad you're able to tune in too. Okay, so I just got a bunch of white paint on the back of this. It doesn't matter because it's going to go down on this white anyway. I just wanted to see basically like how that was going to fit on here and to make sure that that block was going to give me the coverage I needed for the words, which it is. And now I want to like put paint around the outside in a more like dry brushed format. So I can take some of this wet paint and pull it down and into these other areas so that it extends out. This is super abstract and there's no, um, this technique and using it on a fabric board like this, there's no real, like it's, there's no right or wrong. Like you can't really goof it up folks. Like um, I would say if you're gonna attempt a project like this, and I think this makes a fantastic gift for somebody, especially if they're a new homeowner or they just need something to jazz up their home. If you have a relative, like a daughter or a, you know, a son who has a college apartment or their first apartment or they just got married or any of those things, I feel like this would be a really fun gift to make somebody to add to their home decor. I'm gonna go in round circles here to soften that line a little bit. And hmm, <laughs> let me grab this so that I can take some of this paint and get it down on here so I can get it on my brush the way I want it. And I'm gonna do some little like circles in here and filling in because I want that line to be less abrupt. So my tip for you, particularly if you've never done this before on this kind of board and you wanna try it, start in the middle so you can get a feel for your brush how your paint thickness is going to matter on how easily and quickly it applies um, and the board that you use depending on the type of board that you get and where you get it and all that jazz so start in the middle where you're going to want it the darkest anyway and then when you kind of get your bearings with all of your elements meaning your paint your brush the board then you can venture out to these other parts and get some of that lighter coverage that you want hello miss arlene watching from Iowa. There's Miss Sandra. Super cute gift, Cindy. I think so too. I think this is, would be such a, such a cute gift. I agree. I agree. It'd be like a great wedding gift, really, for someone for their new home that they're establishing. Okay, so see how I'm just like circling in some paint on the outskirts of this? And I kind of, it kind of makes me think, because we're going to be using the snowflakes too, like you know how snow just, it's in a flurry when it's a really thick snowstorm, it's darker in some areas, the snow squall, and it's lighter in other areas. That's kind of like what I think this paint job is gonna be giving us, is it's gonna be darker in the center of the storm, the snow, more of it, and it's gonna like fan out and get a little lighter. And I don't want it to be a true square, I want it to be kind of abstract. 
this section in the middle. It needs to be big enough to, to carry the letters, to be the background for the letters, but I don't necessarily need it to be a perfect square. If I wanted it to be perfect, I could have taken out painter's tape and taped it, but I didn't want that. I want it to be kind of, kind of abstract. And you can see how much paint this is sucking up. <laughs> it sucks up a lot. I'm just pulling some of that white out into these outer corners where we're gonna put some of the snowflakes. Now here's my next decision <laughs> that you guys can help with. Okay, I have grays and I have blues chosen for the words in the snowflakes. So vote. <laughs> I, I dark blue, should I do a light blue? Oh my Lord, I'm not sure. The one that I have hanging in my house already it's actually propped up on a mantle, it's not hanging. Um, that one has like a teal blue and black, I believe. But I don't want black on here. I think I'm thinking blues and dark gray. Yes, you guys, you can grab this board, it's 20 bucks. I have the link for anybody that wants it. Just message me, send me a private message. I already texted it out to all my text BFFs. You guys can grab this board. Um, but really any board, fabric board that you can find will work but I would love to help you get one. So just send me a message or head on over to the Comfy Nest with Grace. I actually just posted it there. So you guys could grab the link over there. Don't do that now though. Just, just hang tight because you're gonna wanna see how this all comes together. I just know you do. All right, I don't want my grommets to get any paint on them. So if I got paint on my grommets, I'm just gonna wipe that off. Let's put this aside for a second. Now I probably have paint on the back of this and that's okay. Um, because I want to look and just overall take a look at the board and see what we got. I feel like I want to make it a little darker white in the middle. I'm looking at it in the camera and you can see how big it is. Um, and, and I think I'm going to make it a little wider, this white part. I'm going to widen it out a little bit. Because I want, when I put the snowflakes down, whatever color we decide, I want them to really show up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just extend the white in here just a little bit. Like that. And then let's, I wanna fill in these like grayed out spots. I'm gonna fill them in a little bit more. Doesn't have to be perfect. It's gonna be really like, like I said, abstract and imperfect. I don't want it to be uber perfect anyway. It's hard to see, isn't it, with this on there? I'm notorious for using my, like the project that I'm working on as the place where I put my palette to. I do that a lot. <laughs> it's just how I work. It's funny because everybody, everybody works, it has a different style and works differently. What do you guys think so far? Are you liking this? Do you think it's a neat project? Look at how deep I have to dig down into this paint to get some paint. It's like down deep in there. Let's see. I'm, I'm challenged because even though I've got the camera far away, pulled back so that you can see this all, like if I don't have any room in the camera angle, I can see to put this on the side so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, I don't wanna lose that little crease right there, but I'm gonna make this a little wider in here and in here. A little darker. I am losing a couple of bristles on this brush, but I think that's to be expected because um, it's not a smooth surface. It's very, very textured. It's very textured. So um, the friction between the brush, and especially with me doing these little round circles, the friction between the brush and the board are making some of the bristles come out. I think it's totally worth it. I'm going to darken up right in here a little bit. So it's more like a a soft gradation of like an ombre, like from dark to light. And then I'm gonna be putting snowflakes all over the place on the outskirts of the design. This to me is super fun, like this experimenting and trying this. All right, let's hold it up again and see. What do we think? Do you like, do you like? Oh, I love it. I love it just like that. Now I have more of a square and the square is bigger, but it's pulled out into the edges, yet not hitting my grommets. I don't want it to hit the grommets. I want those to be nice and gray. They're pewter gray and they're beautiful. Okay, 
I gotta find a place for this. Let's put it in my bucket of water. I'm gonna dry this a little bit before we move on to the stenciling part. Um, and I'll check comments for questions. Yes, yeah, so just head on over if you want this board. I texted it to all the text BFFs, and um, it's on my on my site. Look at all those hearts, you guys. I love it. Thanks for all those hearts. I've got my little tweezers here, so I'm going to pull out some of these little... I've got some brush, brush bristles in my paint job here. Just a couple. There we go. Yeah, this would make an awesome gift. Awesome, awesome. Hey, BFF. Hi, Lynn. So that means Lynn got the link. Yeah, you guys, join the tech services. Listen, they're free. You can always opt out, do you know, with all of these tech services. If you're getting texts from a business um, or a creative or a personality that you follow somewhere and you don't want to get them anymore, all you have to do is text the word stop and you will stop getting them. It's that easy. So... I have a text service, so does Essential Stencil. Make sure you get on them so that you know what's going on. Um, I just, I'm gonna grab one of these because one of my grommets got a little more white on it than I want. And while it's still not like totally cured, I'm just gonna wipe that off because I want the grommets to stay. You could do it however you want. I would say, you do you. I want my grommets to stay pewter. Like they're like a gunmetal gray or a pewter color and they're beautiful. Susan says, BFF, it's the best, right? Text BFF, it's so fun. And my, the system I use is two-way, so I can message all of you at once, but then you can message me individually, so we can chit-chat, like text BFF. <laughs> it's so fun. I want this to be dry because, hold on, I want the heat, because I don't want my stenciling to bleed through on wet paint, so we want to make sure this gets nice and dry. Yes, Gloria, I thought about using the angel wings. She said this would be a great background for the angel wings, and I considered them. I really did. I really, really did. So I'm, I'm in line with you on that. Michelle's loving it. Hey, Miss Michelle. Hey, Tech BFF. This heat thing, this heat tool, adds a lot of heat, friends. Like, it's too hot in here now. Woo. Getting hot in here. Linda, hello, hello. Ooh, she says it's very interesting. I suppose if you're just coming in, it would be like, what? Where did that come from? What are you doing? All right. It's better. It's better. I'm, I'm going to check for dampness. Like, is there one section more damp than the others? It's still a little warm from the heat. Let's hit it one more time. All right. Let's do it. Now let's get stenciling. So we're going to do some snowflakes, and we're going to do... Um, we're going to do snowflakes. And we are going to do them, uh, the words, and I have to decide gray or blue, and do I do light blue or dark blue? I'm going to start with light blue for, uh, I can't. so I have this dark gray, and I could use that for the words, and then the snowflakes in light blue, but really... I was thinking about doing the whole thing in light blue, and I just had the gray here just in case I felt like the light blue wasn't showing up well enough and because I really was having trouble deciding, to be truthful with you. So what do you think? What do you think? What colors do you think? Let's see. Oh, Martina says use a blue. <laughs> Martina, thank you for that. Teal and gray. Oh, I love the idea of teal, but the blue that I have is called Louis Blue. It's a really bright lighter blue but i also have um i do have a really dark teal as well that i could use like is that is that too dark Eek! let me show you louis blue let's get it opened up and i'll show you if you don't know annie sloan chalk paint colors there because she's one of my favorite 
when I was furniture painting, she was one of my favorite, she was my favorite furniture paint. That's the Louis Blue. It's really light and beautiful. I just happened to love it. I also thought navy would be beautiful on here. I think I'm gonna start with the Louis Blue. If the Louis Blue, let's start the words in Louis Blue and I'm gonna peel it back, I'll hinge it back, look at it. We'll start the baby part of it. And if, if, if the words aren't showing up well enough, we can switch to the dark gray and then use the blue for the um, for the snowflakes. Okay, so we're gonna go right in the middle here and I'm using the grommets, which are all equally divided on the board, right? Here's the middle, let's see, one, two, three. Here's the middle of the board. So I can use the grommets and the edges of the, the stencil. That's what I do to kind of make sure that I'm equally distant. And sometimes, depending on the project, I position my words a little bit higher on the board. Like if this was gonna get propped up somewhere like a porch leaner, I usually put my words a little bit higher up and then I would put more snowflakes or something down below so it can be seen. So I do think about where is this going to be showing um, but I use the elements on the board and on the, trans the, the stencil to consider where to position. Now, it would be smart, wouldn't it, to tape it down just so it doesn't move. The nice thing about the big chunky words is that if you like happen to budget somehow and it gets off-centered, it's not a big deal because you'll be able to easily find your way back to where you started from. Little, little desk is giving me a little trouble because I only have so much space. Oh, so somebody said the teal looks amazing. Ah, you like the teal. So here are our choices. Teal or Louis Blue. I don't know. I wanted it to be really soft. Which one, Robbie? She says that blue is a gorgeous color. This is a big piece. Jamie, you're not kidding. So I've got two bigger stencils. This is the biggest stencil brush that comes in the Essential Stencil Pack. These are my favorite stencil brushes. In general, they are my favorite, but I think I'm gonna need two just in case we go with two colors. So the other option is to use the gray for the words and then the blues for the snowflakes. We have so many choices to make, ladies and gentlemen. Teal, oh, Sonia says teal, Tammy says blue. Hey, in Michigan, Miss Mary. Hey, Lois. Fran likes the blue. Hey, Fran. Fran and I were just chit-chatting a while ago. Ombre it. Susan, I think I just want one color, though. It's a lovely idea. Gray and blue. All right, so listen. God, it's so hard. Let's start in with the light blue on the baby part. We'll see if it's showing up well and make a decision because this baby blue is so light. It's called Louis Blue. It's so light that if, if it's not showing up well and we don't like it, we can go over it with the dark teal or the gray and it will cover it just fine. It'll cover it just fine. So, Essential Sense of Brush. I'm gonna use this as my place to offload. I'm gonna grab some of this light blue and put it on here. I gotta work it into my bristles, pushing down firmly, doing little circles. It's gonna move that paint up into those bristles. Now, generally we want a really dry brush when we work with these, but this is an absorbent, it's gonna be a paint sucker. <laughs> it's gonna suck up the paint. So I'm gonna test in the middle here. I'm gonna stipple, but this probably would warrant a little more paint. So it's just a matter of like getting a feel for it. I, I kinda, I, I usually like say, oh, when my, my son was learning to drive, like I have my second newly permitted driver. He's 14 and he just got his permit and he's learning to drive. And although he's driven like the four wheeler and he's driven other things, he's like the brakes. He's like <laughs> really jerky with the brakes because he hasn't gotten a feel for it yet. He's like, whoa, these brakes are really like really reactive. He's just got to get a feel for it. It's the same thing with stenciling. You got to get a feel for it. And the only way you're going to do it is you keep on stenciling. Okay. So don't give up. Michelle wants these stencils. You can go grab them now. All right, let's see. We're just gonna lightly put this blue on here and decide if it's too light, okay? We're gonna do the B and I will hinge it back and we will all look at it and go, ooh. <laughs> Either it's too light or it's gonna be perfect. And you know what? When I say that, like, I 
really like the soft. I like both. I like soft and I like really bold. I like both. I have a little bit of both in my home because I can't choose. <laughs> but for this one, I was thinking a really soft color palette. Um, so there's no right or wrong. I guess that's my point. There's no right or wrong to these. And one isn't better than the other. It's just which do you prefer? If it's for yourself, you choose. If it's for a, a, for a friend, like if you're going to make a gift. You choose what you think they would like, what would go in their home. All right, so see, it it soaked up all of that paint. All of that paint is now a goner. That bunch of paint that I just grabbed. Okay, we're going to hinge it back and look. Let's see. Oh, you guys, it's so pretty. I think we're going to stick with the light blue. It's just so lovely and so soft. Hey, y'all. Hey, Mary. Um, Susan says, take him out on the country roads and let him get his time to learn or somewhere with less traffic. Yes. Yes. That's what we've been. We, you know, we live in a pretty quiet little neighborhood. So he's been driving us around. Like once we get off of the main road and into our neighborhood, we hop out and if there's nobody around, we hop out and let him hop in and drive us into where we live. Yes. Is it Tita or Tata? She said, soft colors like a soft snowfall. That's what I was thinking. Elisa says, leave it blue. I think it's lovely. It definitely is going to suck up a lot of paint, so let's get painting. I'm pushing that paint into, into those grooves of this, like, burlap board that I painted white. And it has a nice, you can see it has a little bit of movement. It's a hollow board. It's not hugely heavy for being as big as it is. Um, it's got a nice wooden solid frame, but the back end is um, hollowed out. But this part of it is, it's not a canvas, it's a board. And you can see, even though it gives a little bit, it's not like a soft canvas that's really going to move a lot. All right, let's do the Y and I'll show you this first word because we all got to look. We all got to go, ooh. It's turning out so pretty, right? All right, here we go. And if I hit some of my, uh, some of these um, little snowflakes, I'm actually pretty good with that because I think I'm going to use the light blue and the teal blue or maybe the light blue and a navy for all of the snowflakes. So let's look. I've got almost this done. Let me finish the Y and the B. I'm missing that one spot. Okay. Let's, let's peel it back and just take a peek. You guys, you guys, so pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, this is going to go by fast now that we know that part, and then we decide on the snowflakes. Colors for the snowflakes, please chime in. <laughs> please, it's voting time. Remember you guys when I sang that song wrong? It's voting time. What color should we use for the snowflakes? Should I pull in any gray? Should I just stick with the light blue? Or should I add the teal to get like a pop of color? Or maybe, I'm looking around, I have another lighter teal color. What color for the snowflakes? And actually, I'm going to do this snowflake, the light blue. I hope you guys are enjoying this. I think it's a pretty um, different take on a project with a different um, board, a different surface that we could use. And like I said, the surface, it's a $20 surface. It's really inexpensive for as big as it is. And I can get you hooked up with that if you want. The stencil set, I'm using two stencil sets today. The one has the 312 by 16, the Let It Snow, Baby It's Cold Outside, and Merry and Bright. And then I'm going to use the big snowflakes from the other set, the porch leaner set called Let It Snow. And they're both available now. When I went online, they said limited quantities, but I think that Essential Stencil was going to be updating the quantities on that. Um, so with this season coming up, if you think that this would be a nice gift idea for somebody, even if you don't have this particular board, Go grab yours now. Use my code, The Comfy Nest, to make sure you get your discount. I would be honored to have you do that because it really helps me out too with my business. So you get a discount. I get um, some commission off that, so I really appreciate that. Oh my gosh, this is so lovely. I'm super excited about the way this is turning out. All right, we got that part done. I'm gonna move this over here. I don't wanna get it into the blue paint though. 
to move it over here onto the dry white paint so I can do the outside, the word outside. And I will, like I said, I did that little um, snowflake there is blue. And there are, on this stencil, there are polka dots, like, like almost like the, some snowflakes that just look like little dots in the air. There are polka dots, so maybe I'll do those with the dark blue. I don't know, what are you guys saying? Susan says it's a great looking board. I really enjoy your teaching and sharing that because now I need to swipe away the comments so I can watch and learn. Absolutely, Lolly, good idea. You're welcome. Nancy says teal and blue would look good for the snowflakes. Nancy, I think I'm with you. I think, I, I think that's what I'm gonna do. A silver would look really nice too because it's like very soft, especially if you had a metallic silver to use. But I think I like, I have a lot of blues and greens in my home, so I tend to like, I tend to go to those colors. It's just, it, it's just what I'm drawn to. Light and dark gray with possible glitter. Ooh, Mary Grace, that's a great suggestion. Yeah, we could totally, should we add some glitter to this? When we see it done, um, I think we'll know whether or not we want to add some glitter. We could easily add glitter to this. I might grab out my diamond dust to add some glitter. This is applying very easily, thank the Lord. <laughs> right? Oh my gosh. Is, please make sure that you say hello. If you're a replay watcher, remember there'll be three sets of stencils given out during the live like Essential Stencil always does. Make sure you get on their email so you know when these lives happen. Um, three sets live, and then also a set given away to a replay watcher. So they don't leave anybody out. <laughs> they really don't. Everybody gets to have, have in on the fun. Okay, there are uh, several small little like space filler snowflakes, and I'm going to fill those in with blue so that they match. And then there are a bunch of polka dots, like little dots here and there, and I'm going to do some of those with this blue while I have it out. And then we're gonna fill in with some of the other, some of the other snowflakes. Ah, I love it, I love it, I love it so much. Okay, let's do this little polka dot. Let's, let's peel it back and look. Let's see what we got. Big project, big paint brushes, big paint cans, big impact, <laughs> but it doesn't cost a whole lot. <laughs> Deanna loves the blue, yay! Add white to your baby, it's cold outside. Or snowflake, that's a great idea. That's a great idea. Okay, here we go. You guys, oh my gosh. I think it's so simply beautiful. I'm looking at my letters very closely to make sure that I have good coverage. I just want that way, if I've missed something, I can fill it in a little. So I'm gonna hinge it this way so I can look at the word outside. It looks great. The top of my D, the top of this D is a little bit faint. So I'm gonna reinforce that a little bit. Let me look one more time. And I think I wanna do this blue, I wanna do this snowflake blue, one of these, another one of these small ones blue, this light blue. And then we're gonna pull in the big stinkers, the big snowflakes from the, from the porch leaner set. Okay, so, eek, I think I'm ready to pull it off so that you guys can see what we got so far. Oh, you guys, you guys, it fits so beautifully on this board. See, the board is 18 by 24. This is 12 by 16. It fits great. And then it gives you all this space to either leave it white and very simple, but I'm going to add, we're going to add some more. We're going to add some snowflakes. So I've got the snowflake set from the porch leaners. And these are bigger. So we're going to come in and add some of these, and I really just need to decide... Do I want gray? Do I want to do them all blue? Or do I want to add the teal? Oh, man alive. Man alive. It's hard to decide. Let's do one in, hmm, I don't know, you guys. I don't know. Cindy says, I do love the way the color turned out. If you like it, let me know. Yes, Fran, diamond dust on some of those snowflakes. It's gorgeous, Robbie says, yay. I just have to decide what color. Do I add this in? You guys, I'm feeling bright and beautiful. <laughs> Dark gray, 
beautiful teal. I think the teal's gonna win. This is called Florence. I just, I just, not just, but like recently um, painted a table that my, my girlfriend was gonna throw it out. Table, like this old table that was in her barn at her, where she lives. Um, like she inherited this land in the barn from her, I think her husband's family. I think, I think they bought it from, anyway. Um, so I just painted a table with mainly this color so it would match well. Although I say that, I think I'm going to end up selling this, you guys, because you only have so much room in your house. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to be doing a live sale in September on the page, my, my business page, because I just, there's, I just have so much stuff. I mean, you create and create, which is fabulous. I love it. But then what do you do with it? <laughs> we got to share it. We got to get it out there in the world. We're going to go with the bright. We're going to go with the Florence, which is, oh, Tabitha says dark gray. Tabitha, it's hard to decide. Cindy says gray. Oi, oi, oi. To Melissa says no teal. I'm feeling bright. Heather says dark gray. Colleen says gray. Robbie navy. If I, I wish I had a big thing of navy. I don't. I only have little things of navy. Oh, you guys are all... Everybody says no teal. Everybody says gray, gray, gray. Oh, no. Michelle said continue with the blue and add glitter. Oh, the same blue. Oh, you guys are killing me here. All right. I, I usually listen to you guys when you tell me. Usually. All right. I'll put this one away. You get what you want. <laughs> You're going to, almost everybody said go with the dark gray. Let's do the dark gray. And like Michelle said, we might do a couple of them with the light blue. So let's start with, I'm going to do a light blue one here. Let's do the light blue ones first because I already have that brush. It's already dirtied up. You guys are killing me. You're killing me. I love it. No, I think it's great because, like I said, there's no right or wrong. Whatever you prefer is what you should really do on your projects. Honestly, you should. And if it's a gift for somebody, you can only make your best guess at what they might love. And then um, either way, it'll turn out great and it'll turn out beautiful. So don't get too stressed about that stuff. Listen, if you really can't decide, make two of them. And <laughs> do one of each. You can give one away and keep the one you like more for yourself. All right, we've got one big blue there. Let's offset it and put um, maybe one right here. Um, I gotta move this guy because I wanna cover that. Put, I wanna lay that wet spot on this so that it doesn't get on my board. Let's put one blue one here. I'm gonna do a couple of gray, but we'll do a couple of blue ones too. Let's do this big blue one here. It does suck up a lot of paint, folks. It just, it is what it is because it's a burlap board. You have to keep all those things in mind when you come at a project um, because they're all factors that will affect how the project comes out. So let's do a few of these. Let's do one up here maybe. I might have to because I'd be a short girl. Ah ha ha. Go like that on my little table. Let's do a couple of the blue ones here and then we'll decide on the gray. Let's do this beautiful blue one here. You know what? I got another one of these so I can protect like this. Since I already stenciled on here, if it's wet at all on the back, which it is, I don't want to get smears on my project, but I want to keep using this stencil. So I want to put this one up in this corner right here. So I'm using the craft mats to protect my project from getting any more like smears. Not that it, I mean, it's kind of a rustic-y looking thing anyway, so it's okay. The other, the other um, way to handle that is to just dr clean your stencils every time you use them, clean them, and then you won't have that issue. <laughs> Part of my problem is I only have so much area to work in that so that you guys can see what I'm doing. So if I put these things off camera, um, that would be difficult for that. Plus, I don't have that much more room on my table. This is about it. Okay, so we got that one. Should we just should we just take a peek and see? That's what we got so far. Let's do one more light blue one up in this corner and then we'll add some dark gray because that's what you chose. All right, so one more, which one? Let's see. Let's do this little one right here. 
And that means I need this. Guys, it's such a challenge. Small craft spaces unite. This one I'm going to put over here in this corner. Actually, it'll hang off pretty much. We're going to put this one in this corner, and then we'll add a few dark gray. It'll look really lovely. All right, here we go. One more blue one. Mm. Let's put it here. I can hear my husband came home. He's rained out, the poor man. He's rained out. He, that means he's probably stressed out. Even though he got to come home, it means he loses another day of getting able, being able to work. It's not good. All right. There we go. I think we're done with the blue. Now we come in with the gray. Okay, let's put this aside for a second. I think I better wipe off the back of this um, with, a, with a wipe just to make sure I don't have any blue left. What do you think so far? All right, we'll come in with some dark gray. All right, let's do it. Let's clean this off a little bit on the back with a, I'll just use a Huggies wipe. Blue and gray with sparkles. Ooh, Lolly, I love that idea. It will be outstanding, Carolyn says. I like that descriptive. Thank you for the hearts, Michelle. I might do monochromatic for myself and with sparkly snowflakes. Vicki, you guys, if you guys end up doing these projects um, that are inspired by me, honestly, join my free group, the Craft uh, Crafty Chicks Club, and share your projects in there. Stencil of the Month members, you have your private community for Stencil of the Month Club members. Once you become a member of that, um, it's, it's a club where you pay monthly, it's a subscription, a membership, you pay monthly, and then you will get an exclusive set of stencils sent to you every month, and then you get this private community where the brand ambassadors, the staff, and the members get to hang out and share their projects. It's fabulous. So there, if you're Stencil of the Month Club members, please share in that group. We want to see, we want to see what you created. Okay, I cleaned the back. I don't necessarily mind the front because I'm sure it's pretty dry. Um, and if a little bit of that blue gets mixed in with my gray, the gray is dark enough where I know it's just gonna obscure it. It's not gonna be a problem. I'm gonna come in here with a new brush. So I'm gonna grab a new big stencil brush. And I have this gray. I've never, I don't even think I've ever used this. Country Chic, Country Chic paint. It was like part of like a mystery grab bag I purchased online of craft supplies and I got this big thing of paint that I have never used, but it's a beautiful dark gray color. Do you think the dark gray is gonna be too dark, you guys? Should I lighten it up with some white? Susan says, I thought I was the only one who put stuff in my mouth for her moving stuff. Listen, when I have a wet, wet paintbrush, I constantly like will put it in my mouth so I can rearrange. That's so funny, Susan, that you say that. Beautiful snowflakes, whimsically nodded, says, yay. Hi from Long Island, New York, Miss Denise. Hello, hello. The first paints that I, oh, I've used three different paints. I've used Annie Sloan was the light blue. Um, I used Rust-Oleum Chalked was the white, and now this one's called Country Chic. I've never used it before. I'm going to use it for the first time. Joey says, I want to do, no, Michelle, I want to do this. I put the stencils in my cart. Yay! Make sure you use my code, The Comfy Nest, Michelle, so you get that discount. Um, I'm using a craft mat, and these craft mats um, are in my Amazon store. So if you want to know what they are, you can head over to my Amazon store. Heather's really loving the large size of this project. It's going to be a real statement piece, right? Michelle's loving the colors. It's a craft mat. Yes, it is. Okay, um, let's see. Lighten it up with white. Michelle, I think so too. A softer gray, right? Listen, I have a soft gray, but it's too soft. Hold on. We got a soft gray here. Where is it? Hold on, girls. We got one. Let me dig it out. I think this one's called aged gray by Bristolium, but I think it's it's just way too soft. It's not going to show up. So I'm going to take the Country Chic. We're going to create a little paint palette here. <laughs> Country Chic. And then that's the blue. I don't need the blue. I want some of that white paint that I used on the base. So let me grab a little, not that one, not that one. I'm looking for a palette knife that I can use to grab some paint out of my big can here. So I'm gonna grab some of this. 
we're gonna soften up this white. It's just too much. It's just too much, as my son used to say when he was little. He'd used to say, Mom, it's just enough. If I'd give him too much food or something, it's just enough, Mom. That might be a little too light. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. We can come in with the gray. I love mixing colors, you guys, to come up with custom colors. I love it, I love it. This Country Chic paint, I will say, just first reaction, it's very, very thin. Very thin, so in general, I would avoid it for stenciling. That I like, that color right there is really lovely. Right there, it's very wet though. It's making me a little nervous, a little nervous, but we're gonna go with it. All right, craft mat away. We're gonna put a big, let's do this style snowflake right here. Oh gosh, it's real, it's too wet. <gasps> it like pfft, made a big fat mess. <laughs> it's too wet. Okay, country chic paint, don't use it on your projects. It's way too wet. I knew it was wet, but that's really, uh, really bad. Okay, so we're gonna do a clean up here. Clean up crew, we're gonna clean it up off the stencil. It's not a big deal. It's, it's, it's all figure outable. Listen, there are no, I mean, there are no major emergencies when it comes to stenciling. Not no, whatsoever. Okay, so the brush, the paint is really wet, really loose, and so it kind of just spread that. Now I still have the shape of a snowflake, however, it's obscured for sure. I'm gonna let that dry and I'm gonna come back to it. So we're gonna work on a different area. I'm gonna use the same paint. I'm gonna use the same paint because I'd be bold like that. Let's put, this little one here in gray, but I have to offload like a whole lot of paint off of this brush. Yeah, thank you for the little laughters. I see little laughter. We're gonna offload almost all that paint. Otherwise, we're gonna have a big wet mess. Yep, now it works. I just had too much. I was using the same amount of paint I was using for the rest of the project because it's the burlap board, but because it's such a thin paint, I needed to offload most of it there. Quick and easy, that one's done, it looks great. We'll come back to that. I will come back to that, because everything is figure outable. Okay, next up, let's do this biggest one. Where is it? This one right here. But because my this is a really wet paint, I better clean off the back. Hold on. Uh -huh. I just wanna clean off most of that off the back so that I don't have a big smudge and we're gonna put this big one right in here, like right here. Craft mat, please help me very gently. We're gonna put this guy right here. I'm not even loading up my paintbrush anymore. I'm just gonna go in with what I have on it because it's plenty. These big paint, the bigger the paintbrush generally, and but again, it's a trial and error thing. The bigger your paintbrush generally, the more bristles it has and the more you've worked it into the bristles, it holds that paint for you. That's a good paintbrush. It holds that paint and it's gonna release as you apply pressure and you wiggle it around. Oh my gosh, you guys, I really like this soft gray. I really do. I, you guys, you made a good choice here. We're gonna flip this. I know it's a lot of, um, it's a lot of having to move things around, but it should, look at so far, look at the soft gray. See the big, look what it did. <gasps> you, fresh, naughty paint. <laughs> you misbehave in paint. Look at how pretty this is, you guys. Okay. Same stencil. We're gonna put, I really like that big one the way it turned out. I don't have any of it on the back, so I'm okay with that. I'm gonna put one of those in this corner here, right there. I have not added any more paint to my brush. I'm gonna try to just get this to use. You saw how much paint I mixed, how much of that gray paint I mixed. And because that country chic was so wet, I haven't added any and I still have these gorgeous <laughs> gray snowflakes coming. Okay, let's put something in here, one of the medium ones um, or a smaller one, like this one is kind of small. Let's put that one in here, right here. 
because I don't want them to look like they're like in a um, in a pattern. I want them to look really random on here. So we've got that gray one. Now let's add another. Well, I have that one right there that I want to be gray. So we have to do a little fixing here because I'll, sh I'll try to show you close up. I am a weak girl, but I'm going to try to hold up this big board and have you focus on this blob right there. Focus, girls. Now, I'm not going to last long. My muscles are not very big. <laughs> Look. Did you see that blob? I am unhappy with that blob. And I want to make sure, I'm going to put a stencil, stenciled snowflake there, but I need that to be dry before I go in again on there. So I'm going to dry it first. Thank you, Heather. Thank you, Lois. She says it turned out great. Lolly, I don't think so. She's asking, could I clean up the mistake with a baby wipe? I would not because it's fabric. It's a burlap board. So when I wipe, it's just going to smear and absorb into my project. So I'm going to dry it. Oh, I think it's dry. That didn't take long because it was it had already been drying. I'm going to come back over it with the original stencil. Which one was I using here? I think it was this one. Yes this one. I'm going to come back in with this original stencil that I was using and finish the rest of it and then we are going to fix. We are going to fix this because yes we can. All right like that. Same brush. I have not added any more paint. I think I'm going to be able to get this last gray. Maybe not. Snowflake in here. No I think I might be able to girls. I should have trusted my instinct. I said when I was mixing it up, whoa, this paint is very liquidy. I should have listened to my instincts, listened to my gut. <laughs> it looks like it looks like it has a swollen finger. Wait, wait till you see. Hang tight, because it's flipping hilarious. Okay, wait. Hold on. It looks like it has like a swollen finger. Like, like look. to me. We are going to fix it. We're going to get a little paintbrush. We are going to get a little bit of our white paint and we are going to dab all over that spot. We are going to dab, dab, dab. We are going to fix this. Oh, that was cold. That grommet got cold. Okay. Um, I just want to, I'm going to offload a little bit of this paint. Hang tight because I don't want so much on here. I'm going to dab around this because we are going to cover it up. Look, we're just going to cover up that big swollen finger. We're going to repaint it with the gray. <laughs> that was hilarious, you guys. I thought maybe I, what I was planning on doing was coming in with a little detail brush and just like tightening up the edges, but I didn't realize how swollen it was until I revealed like the other parts of that snowflake. Oh my gosh, that is funny to me. Okay, it's working. It's covering it up great. I'm going to dry it, and then we're going to redo that part. Oh my gosh, so funny. So a snowflake with a boo-boo finger. With a boo-boo, call in the nurse. Cindy says, you are so funny, and I love that you can laugh at your own projects. Aw, thank you. She says, you are amazing, Grace. Thank you, Cindy. Oh, no, listen, Sandy, girls. We're putting a band-aid on it, Whimsically Knotted. I love the name of your, your page, Whimsically Knotted. Listen, we are putting a band-aid on over it. Okay, let's talk about something just quick. It's not a big issue, but it's a teaching point. So let's listen in. Okay, I went in with the white and I dabbed it all over the gray. What happened was the gray kind of got reactivated. And so the dark gray turned into a very smoky light gray. So what you're gonna see when I hold this up close to you where that little boo-boo finger is, is actually it's a very soft gray paint. It very much matches, thank the Lord, the soft gray burlap, so it's not an issue. But I needed to dry it because if you have wet paint and you try to fix it, so I had wet gray paint, and I tried to dab on the white on top and all I got was a lighter gray paint. <laughs> so see right here, we got a soft gray blob there. That was the light gray and the white mixing to create that new color, which think, like I said, thank God it matches the gray base of the project. So it really is going to, it's going to 
blend in well, but I hit it with the heat because I need this to be completely dry so that I can add white paint to it and it's gonna hide that little blemish. We need it to be completely dry. If you go in to try to fix it with wet paint on wet paint, you're just gonna get a new color of paint. You're just basically blending them. I don't wanna blend them, I wanna coat over that with white so that it hides the blemish. And I'm just gonna stipple it. Because remember, I don't have full coverage on these outskirts. I wanted it to be nice and blended and um, like smoky and look like it was like tapering off. The snow storm was like kind of tapering off in this area. So I want to dab this on, not like try to get full brush strokes, okay? Much better. Can you see now I've got more white in that boo-boo region. The boo-boo region is now being fixed. So I'm just blending in very light stipples of white. Ah, see, it's all good. It's all good. It all works out in the end. It always does. It always does. Everything's figure outable. Although I don't have a ton of space on my desk. Okay, here we go. Back with the gray. Back with the stencil. I am going to run my hand. It's completely dry. This I do. I do want to make sure now that my white that I just stippled on is dry before I go in with the gray or I'm just going to get a blend again. So it's a couple of extra steps, but it's all figure outable. All is not lost. I, I have to tell you, I am admitting it, the gray is gorgeous. You girls, you guys and girls, you made good choices here. I was feeling the bright. I think I would have liked the bright one too, to be honest with you. I think I would have liked the bright one too. However, I let you determine, now that's hot. I let you determine and I really love it. I love the outcome. All right, same stencil. I'm laying it over itself in that area so I can now complete the boo-boo. <laughs> Fix the boo-boo area. Now my brush has gotten dry in that time. Make sure there's no wet paint on the bottom of this. It's gotten dry, so I'm gonna pick up a little more of that original color that I created. I don't need a lot because it's really thin. All right, I think. We fixed it. Good job. Pat, pat yourself on the back. Go ahead and give yourself. My, my dad used to do that. I'm going to pat my. When he'd cook a good dinner, he'd be like, mm, good job, Joe. <laughs> Look at it. See the boo boo finger? It's gone. It's gone. We fixed it. Okay, does it need more snowflakes? Comment, comment. Should we add more and what color? I like it the way it is, although I will say, we got a little blank spot right there that I think I'll add one of the small snowflakes. So let's grab the baby, it's cold outside. I'm gonna add one of the small ones, not blue though, I'm gonna make it gray. Let's add one small snowflake in this area in gray and then Tabitha says, good job. Please add glitter, Jenna says. What do you think? I could glitter, I would be tempted to be honest with you. Hold on, I gotta move it so I can get one little gray snowflake right in here. We're gonna put one little gray one right in here on the white. It's, oh, I need more, I need more paint. We're not out of paint, girls. It's drying up fast. Um, and maybe some of those polka dots in gray now, because we have the blue polka dots. The polka dots came off of this stencil. Um, do you see it has like little dots? Right, like right there, right there. Let's add a couple of little gray dots in areas just, just because that would be fun and cute. Um, so listen, I could and would love to, where did my other, here it is. I could and I would love to add glitter all over this thing. Um, one small one, yes, Becky, I agree, I agree. Add the little one and call it done. Dee Dee, or is it D or Dee Dee? Dee Dee, yes, it was Dee Dee. I'm gonna add Dee Dee, I hope you don't mind. Do I have your approval? To add just a couple of those little polka dots in gray. Let's just do it. Just so we have a couple and it like really pulls everything together. There's one. Get rid of you, I don't need you anymore. Thank you for your help. Um, let's add another one up here. I'm just gonna use the same polka dot spot on the stencil and I'm just gonna add 
couple of little dots here and there in the gray so it pulls it all together. I'm not gluing the stencil down. I'm not even holding it real steady. I'm just gonna, I'm being very careful that I don't put this down on a, on a um, snowflake that's wet. I wanna be really careful not to do that because I don't wanna get any smudges at this point. We'll put one there. Let's put one up in this area right here. Why not? Where else? These are really subtle, you guys. Super subtle. We could do one more right in here, and then we will call it good. And um, this is like so random and just so super subtle, but it really brings it all together. Now here, hear me out. Hear me out. I'm going to hold it up. I hope you guys love it. Um, two sets of stencils, Baby It's Cold Outside, came from, just give me a second so I can recap for you. The Baby It's Cold Outside comes with Let It Snow. It has the dots, polka dots, and it has the snowflakes on it. It has the one that I used, which is called Baby It's Cold Outside. Same thing, snowflakes and dots. And it has, that's the one I used, and it has Merry and Bright with some holly and some leaves. Okay, that is a 12 by 16 set available now. When I, when I looked earlier when I was choosing this, it said limited quantities, but I think they were updating it. The links are here for you so that you can grab that if you want to. Makes a beautiful set. The other set that I used was the Let It Snow Porch Leaner, and I, all I used from that was the snowflakes. I think it's worth having the big snowflakes because they're great fillers for big projects. Um, on the other set, you're getting the little snowflakes, and on this set, you're getting the bigger ones, and they are beautiful, beautiful snowflakes. So both really good sets to have in your stash. Uh, use my code, The Comfy Nest, to get 10% off, and if you join the Stencil of the Month Club so you can get access to the private group to share your projects and see other people's projects, you can get 50% off your first month using my code use my code friends <laughs> okay if you have questions about all of the stuff I use today particularly the board I, I did put this link in the crafty chicks club and on my website I texted it all to my text BFFs who asked for it it's a $20 board you guys so it's really worth the price it's burlap covered with these great pewter gray grommets I'm gonna hold it up one more time um, and I think because Jenna said please please glitter this I think I will glitter this but I will do it later for the sake of time because, <laughs> you guys, because it's taken a while to get this all together, but I really love the way it turned out. I loved having your company and your input. Thank you for suggesting the dark gray or the medium gray. I think it really looks lovely together. The glitter will be mwah, the ending piece of this. <laughs> so I will glitter this later on my own business page. So you can um, head on over there and follow just if you want to see it. Um, head on over there and follow and get, get on the text thing or whatever so that you, you get a notification when I'm going live. I will do this later. May not be today, but later either today or tomorrow before the end of the week. Thank you, Winnie. She says, wow, great job. All right, let's, let me, let me list out the winners. So these are our three live winners. We'll pick Essential Stencil. We'll choose another replay winner. Um, so make sure if you're catching the replay, you say that. Michelle Piner made low. You just want a set of stencils, friend. Lynn Minnis, Donald T. Um, Lynn, I hope I said your name correctly. And Terry Espinoza. So Terry, Michelle, and Lynn, you all just want a set of stencils for being here live and commenting away and joining in the community and the fun. Thank you to all of you who did that. Congratulations to the winners. Um, read the pinned post so you know how to claim your prizes. You just have to email them and it's in the pinned post. You guys have a beautiful, blessed day. I hope it's wonderful for you. I hope we also stay healthy and safe. Thanks for joining me here on the Essential Stencil page. I'll catch you next Thursday. I'm live every Thursday for them here on the page. Okay, you guys, I have to come around and hit the finish button because I can't reach from here. Um, so thank you for being here. Have a beautiful last day. Take care. Here I come, coming around the corner. Just message me if you've got questions. <laughs> Take care, bye.